Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is sponsored by Lion Brand Yarns. Lion Brand has sponsored this video by supplying me with the yarn and they are also going to offer this afghan in kit form on the website. I'll have a special link in the description box. Click that link and it's going to take you right to the kit. Now this afghan is an intermediate skill level. The center of the design is pretty easy to do. It's nice and lacy and airy for spring summer, but yet the pattern is still nice and toasty warm for the fall winter season. I also added a double stitch border on the afghan just to add some interest to this design. Give it something a little more unique in the way of a border. Now this afghan measures 42 inches across by 55 inches long. It's way too big to get in the viewfinder, so I do have it folded in fours. So it's a nice size afghan, and you can see how beautiful that border looks on this blanket. So I just wanted to open the blanket up a little bit more. You can see that double-edged border. You can see how beautiful that stitch pattern is for the center of the blanket. And then it goes all the way up and then it goes back up to that double stitch border. So just a beautiful design. So let me go ahead and tell you everything you're gonna to need to make this blanket today. Now for your project today, we're using the Lion Brand Yarns Basic Stitch Antimicrobial. This is an anti-allergen stitching yarn. Long lasting freshness for your projects while preventing odor, bacteria, and allergens. It comes in a 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, 186 yard, 170 meter skein. It's classified as a number four medium weight yarn. It's 65% recycled polyester, 35% Amacor acrylic, and best of all, it's machine wash and dryable. Now for today's afghan, you're going to need 11 skeins of the color blue stone, color number 106AW, or the color of your choice. They have many beautiful colorways in this yarn. So again, you're going to need 11 skeins of the color of your choice for your blanket. You're also going to need a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get our project started. To begin our project, I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. Now I wanna remind everyone, all my crochet tutorials are filmed using USA crochet terms. Now this stitch pattern is a multiple of four plus six. So if you wanna change the size of the blanket, then you would chain four, chain four again, Keep chaining in multiples of four until you get it to the width you want, then you add six more chains. So we're going to begin today and we're going to chain 122. You're going to yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop on your hook, and this creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one, two, three, four, five, Continue until you have 122 chains, and I'll be back, and we'll start row one. I'm back. I made my chain. I have 122 chains, and now we're ready to begin row one. Now, for row one, we're going to be working a cluster stitch where we're working three double crochet into the same stitch, but leaving the last loop of each stitch on the hook and then yarning over and pulling through all loops. So I'll walk you step by step on how easy it is to do the cluster stitch. So we're going to go ahead and begin. We're going to yarn over the hook and you're going to skip the first four chains. One, two, three, four, and into that fifth chain from hook, insert your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through that chain, 
you have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your first double crochet of three, leaving the last loop on the hook. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. So when you look at your work, you made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You just made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have four loops, you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You just made your cluster stitch. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next two chain and into the next chain, work a single crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through that chain. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your single crochet. Now we're ready to begin the repeat. To begin the repeat, you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're going to work a cluster stitch into the next chain. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You just made your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on your hook. You have four loops, yarn over the hook and pull through all four loops on your hook. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next two chains, one, two, insert into the next chain and work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to work a cluster stitch into the next chain Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull back through. You now have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook, and you have a total of four loops. Yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next two chains and single crochet into the next chain. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how your pattern is forming. So I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to chain three. Now we're going to work a cluster stitch into the next chain. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You just made your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. 
you made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on your hook, and you have a total of four loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Your cluster stitch is made. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next two chains, one, two, into the next chain, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. Start where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat. And you're going to continue across your chain until you get to the last two chains. And I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row one. You should have two chains remaining. So you can see I just worked my last repeat. And again, you should have two chains remaining. So to end row one, we're going to end the row by working a chain two, one, two. You're going to skip the next chain and into the last chain, work a double crochet. So row one is finished. This is what your work should look like. So now we're ready to begin row two. Row two is going to be our repeat row that we work over and over for the main part of our afghan. So let's go ahead and begin row two. For row two, we're going to begin with a chain four. One, two, three, and four. You're going to turn your work. Your beginning chain four counts as the first double crochet plus a chain one. We're going to work a cluster stitch into that first chain two space. You're skipping the first stitch and working into the chain two space. We're going to work a cluster, yarn over, insert into the chain two space, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops yarn over and pull through two loops only. You just made your first double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull back through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on your hook. You have a total of four loops, yarn over the hook and pull through all four loops on the hook. You're going to chain one. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. Our repeat, you're going to start by working a single crochet into the next chain three space. So we're only working in the chain three spaces. So we're skipping all these stitches and you're going to insert underneath that next chain three space, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to work a cluster stitch back into that same chain three space. Yarn over the hook, insert into the chain three space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, yarn over and pull back through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of four loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Your cluster stitch is made. You're going to chain one. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do the repeat again. You're going to go over to your next chain three space. So you're skipping all the stitches in between. Insert under the chain three space, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three. 
Now we're going to work a cluster stitch back into that same chain three space. Yarn over, insert into the chain three space, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull back through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of four loops, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Your cluster stitch is made. You're going to chain one. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how your repeat is forming. I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to go over to your next chain three space. You're skipping all these stitches. Insert under the next chain three space. Work your single crochet. You're going to chain three. Now we're going to work our cluster stitch back into that same chain three space. Yarn over the hook, insert into the chain three space, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull back through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of four loops, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Your cluster stitch is made. You're going to chain one and that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to repeat from the start of the repeat and work a single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, and then a cluster stitch back into that same chain three space, and then chain one. Repeat that across the row until you get to the last chain space, and I'll meet you at the end of row two. I'm over at the end of row two. We just worked our repeat across and we should be over to our last cluster and our ending chain space. So to end the row, we're going to skip all these stitches and go right over to our last ending space between the last stitch and the turning chain. We're going to insert between the last stitch and the turning chain. Remember, you just finished your last repeat. You're skipping the single crochet, the chain one, and the cluster. You're going over to the space between the last stitch and the turning chain. Insert into that space. Work a single crochet. You're going to chain two. Now we're going to work a double crochet into the third chain of that turning chain. You're going to start at the bottom. Here's one chain, two, and three. Yarn over, insert into that third chain, and work your double crochet. And row two is finished, and this is what your work should look like. So row two is finished. This is what your work should look like. Now to continue working on your blanket, you're going to repeat row two 75 more times until you have a total of 77 rows. So again, you already worked the first two rows and you need a total of 77 rows. So go ahead and if you need help, click back on the video, repeat row two until you have 77 complete rows and I'll meet you at the end of row 77. I'm over at the end of row 77. I just repeated row two until I had a total of 77 rows. And I do leave my ends hang so I can keep an accurate count of how many skeins I use 
until I finish my afghan. I'm going to pull out my hook and I'm just going to try to get as much of the blanket in the viewfinder as I can. So we left off here at row two and then you repeated row two until you had a total of 77 rows. So again, I'm over at the end of row 77, so if you decided to make the afghan larger, then make sure you're ending on an odd number row. So I am done with the main part of the afghan, and this is the right side, so I'm going to fasten off my yarn. I chain two, one, two, pull my hook up, yarn out grab, pinch, and pull down. Now because at the end of row 77 this is the right side of your work, I fastened off my yarn and I'm going to return to the beginning of row 77. So do not turn your work. This is where you fastened off. You're just going to go right back over to the beginning of row 77. And then back at the beginning of row 77, you're going to see your very first cluster stitch. So just follow that row over to the first cluster stitch. And we're going to join our yarn between the beginning chain four and that first cluster. Insert into that chain four space, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin with a chain three. One, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work three more double crochet back into that same space between the beginning chain and that first cluster. One, two, and three. So now to work across the top of the afghan, we're only working in the chain three spaces. Yarn over the hook, Go to your next chain three space, work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over the hook, go to your next chain three space, work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Let's do it again. Yarn over the hook, go to your next chain three space, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And you can see how your pattern is forming. So go ahead and continue and work four double crochet in each chain three space across to the last stitch and I'll meet you there. So I'm over at the last stitch. We have this chain two space here. So we worked four double crochet in each chain three space across to the corner. And now to make the corner, we're going to go into the ending chain two space at the last stitch, right into this space. We're going to work four double crochet. One. Two. three, and four. Now you're going to chain one to form your corner, and then you're just going to turn your work and we're going to start working into the row end stitches. We're going to work four more double crochet around the post of this first row end stitch or in the same space as the last stitches were worked. You're going to yarn over, insert underneath the post of that first row end stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, 
three, and four. And when you look at your work, you're going to see your corner was made with four double crochet, a chain one, and four double crochet. Now we're going to be working down the length of our afghan, and we're going to be working into the row end stitches. Very easy to see these row end stitches. So let's begin the repeat. You're going to skip the next row end stitch and into the next row end stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Let's do the repeat again. You're going to skip the next row end stitch and into the next row end stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. You're going to skip the next row end stitch and into the next row end stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next row end stitch and into the next row end stitch, work four double crochet. Skip the next row end stitch and into the next row end stitch, work four double crochet. Continue down the length of your afghan to your next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner. We just worked down the side of our afghan and you should end with four double crochet into that last row end stitch. Now I'm gonna backtrack a little bit because I forgot to tell you when you're working across the top of your afghan, you should have a total of 31 four double crochet groups across the top. And when you work down the side, you're going to have a total of 39 four double crochet groups. So you can just do a double stitch count and see if your stitches are correct. And then this way you can make sure that all four of your sides are the same. Again, you're gonna have 31 four double crochet groups across the top and you'll have 39 four double crochet groups going down the side. So we're over at our second corner and again we just worked four double crochet into that last row end stitch. So we're going to chain one for our corner and then you just want to swing your work around. Now we're going to be working across the bottom of our afghan. So we're going to finish our corner and we're going to work four more double crochet into this same space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work four double crochets. One, two, three, so when you look at your work, you're going to have four double crochet around the last row end stitch. You chained one for your corner, and then you worked four more double crochet all into that same space, which makes the transition from the side over to going across the bottom of your afghan. So now we're working across the bottom of our afghan, and we're going to be working into the chain two spaces. So you're skipping the cluster stitch, you're skipping the single crochet, and we're only working in the chain two spaces. So let's begin. So right away we have a chain two space, so we're going to work four double crochet into that first chain two space. One, two, three, and four. You're going to skip the next cluster, skip that single crochet, and into this next chain two space, you're going to work four double crochet. And that end keeps getting in my way. That's one, two, 
three and four. And this end I'll weave in when I'm all finished with my afghan. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. You're going to skip the next cluster, skip the next single crochet, and into the next chain two space, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Skip the next cluster, skip the next single crochet, and into the next chain two space, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And you can see how your repeat is forming in the chain two spaces. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next cluster, skip the next single crochet, and into the next chain two space, work four double crochet. If you need additional help, just click back on the video, repeat that across to your next corner, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner. This is our third corner. We just worked across the bottom of our afghan, working four double crochet in each chain two space across and in that last chain two space. So when you look at your work, you're still going to have a cluster stitch here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one to form the corner. You're going to skip that ending cluster stitch and into this chain space on the side, the first row end space going down the length, we're going to work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So when you look at your work, you're going to have a total of 31 four double crochet groups across. You chained one and then into this first row end space going down the length of your blanket, you work four double crochet, which forms your corner. So now we're just going to spin our work around and we're going to start working down the length of our blanket. So you can see the row end stitches very clearly when you're working down the length of your blanket. So now we're ready to begin the repeat. You're going to skip this next row end stitch and into the next row end stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to skip the next row end stitch and into the next row end stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Let's do the repeat again. You're going to skip the next row end stitch into the next row end stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next row end stitch and into the next row end stitch, work four double crochet. Repeat that down the length of your blanket until you get to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my last corner and I have two row end stitches remaining. So I just wanted to do the last repeat with you. You're skipping the next row end stitch and you're working four double crochet into this last row end stitch or the same space as the beginning four stitches. So yarn over, skip the next row end stitch, insert around the post of that last row end stitch, 
work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. You're going to chain one to form your corner and then we're going to join in the top of that beginning chain three. Start at the base, count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So round one is finished. So again, you should have 39 four double crochet groups running down the length of your blanket and 31 four double crochet groups going across the top and bottom of your afghan. So now we're ready to begin round two. We're going to begin with the chain three, one, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this next stitch. You're going to yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of the work, insert on the side on the right hand side of that next stitch front to back and then bring your hook from back to front underneath the post of the stitch yarn over pull underneath and around the stitch you have three loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops so a front post double crochet just means that you're going from the front of your work to the back and then from the back to the front. You're just going underneath the post of that stitch. Now we're going to work a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Yarn over, insert under the top two loops, work a double crochet. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, Bring your hook to the front of the work. Insert on the right hand side of your work. Now if you're left handed it may be different. Bring your hook from back to front. You're just going underneath the post of the stitch. Yarn over, pull back through and around. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post double crochet. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. You're going to work a double crochet into the top of the next stitch and then a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert on the right hand side of the next stitch, going from front to back, bring your hook from the back to the front just underneath the post of the stitch and then work your double crochet. Yarn over, pull underneath and around, you have three loops yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And that is the end of the repeat. Now when you're doing this repeat, make sure you're watching your stitches and you're not skipping that next stitch. Because when you're doing that front post double crochet, sometimes you may miss this stitch because it kind of looks like you're working in it, but you're not. So make sure you just pull that across, you worked in this stitch, so you're doing a double crochet into the next stitch. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. I'll show you one more time. You're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work a double crochet into the top of the next stitch, a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Repeat that across to your next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner of round two of the border. We just worked our repeat across and you should end with a front post double crochet into that last stitch. So you worked a double crochet in one stitch, front post into the next. You work that across the top of your blanket and you end with a front post double crochet into the last stitch. So now we're going to work our corner and we're going to work a double crochet into this corner chain one space. 
We're going to chain one and then work one double crochet back into that same corner chain one space. Our corner is made. Now we're going to repeat what we've done on the previous side and we're going to repeat it around the remaining three sides of the blanket. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch right into the top of the stitch and then work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat double crochet into the top of the next stitch under the top two loops, work a double crochet. Then you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. So let me show you one more time. You're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch and then front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're going to continue and do the repeat of working a double crochet into the top of the next stitch and a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch down to the next corner and when you get to the next corner you're going to end with a front post double crochet into the last stitch and then you're going to have your chain one space and then you're going to end with a double crochet chain one double crochet into your corner chain one space and you're just going to repeat that around the remaining three sides so again, you're going to do the repeat of a double crochet into the next stitch, front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Work that across the side until you get to your next corner chain one space. You have a front post double crochet into the last stitch, and then you work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, into the corner chain one space. So go ahead, if you need help, click back on the video, repeat that around the remaining three sides, and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. This is what your work should look like. You worked a double crochet into the first stitch of the four stitch group, a front post into the second stitch, a double crochet into the top of the third and a front post into the fourth stitch of that four stitch group around. So now I'm over to my ending chain one space. I just worked around the last stitch and then we have our chain one space here and our beginning chain three. So to end the round, you're going to work your double crochet into that chain one corner you're going to chain one and then double crochet back into that corner chain one space. And then you're going to notice you're over to your beginning chain three. So we're going to join into the top of the beginning chain three. You're going to count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top chain and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. Now we're ready to begin round three. We're going to skip our beginning chain three and you want to slip stitch into the top of that next front post double crochet. Insert your hook under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to chain three. Your beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this next double crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert on the side of the stitch going from front to back, and then from the back to the front around the opposite side on the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to work a double crochet into the top of this next front post double crochet. And then we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this next double crochet. 
yarn over, insert from front to back on the side of the stitch, back to front on the opposite side, you're going underneath the post of the stitch, yarn over, pull underneath and around, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Your front post double crochet is made. So let's do the repeat again. Double crochet into the top of the next front post double crochet. And you can tell your front post double crochet because it sticks up a little bit. Then you're going to front post double crochet around the next double crochet. So you're going around the post of that stitch and working your double crochet. So let's do the repeat again. Very simple repeat. Double crochet into the top of the next front post double crochet. And then front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. Work a double crochet into the top of the next front post double crochet. And then front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that across to your next corner chain one space. And I'll meet you there. So I'm over at my first corner of round three, and now we're ready to begin the repeat for around the remaining three sides. So I'm going to show you how to get started, get you started down the side, and then you're going to repeat this around the remaining three sides. So this is where you want to click back on the video where we are starting at our first corner chain one space after you worked across the top. So when you get to the corner chain one space, you're going to work a double crochet into that corner chain one space. You're going to chain one for the corner and then double crochet back into that chain one space. Then you're going to swing your work around. And now we're going to start our pattern going down the other side. So the first stitch you're going to see is we have two double crochet and then a front post double crochet. So now we have to get our pattern back in the right order. So because we have a front post here, we're going to work a double crochet into this stitch. So then we need to work a front post into this stitch and start with a double crochet into this stitch. So yarn over, insert into the top of that first stitch going down the side, work a double crochet. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around this next double crochet. And then you're going to start working the double crochet into the top of the next front post double crochet. Front post double crochet around the post of that next double crochet. double crochet into the top of the next front post double crochet and the afghan is getting pretty large and it wants to keep sliding off my table so sorry about the angle and the view of my work. Next you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of that next stitch. So I'll show you one more time. Now we're going to double crochet into the top of that next front post double crochet under the top two loops, work your double crochet. Then you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this next double crochet. So go ahead and continue. You're going to double crochet into the top of that next front post double crochet. And then work a front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. You're going to repeat that down the side of your work until you get to your next corner chain one space and then you're going to click back on the video and you're going to repeat from the corner chain one space working a double crochet chain one double crochet into the corner chain one space and then start with a double crochet into the top of the next stitch 
front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch and then continue double crochet into the top of the next stitch front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Repeat that down the side until you get to your corner chain one space and then repeat it all over again around the remaining three sides. If you need additional help just click back on the video where we started here at the chain one corner after we worked across the top of the blanket. Repeat that around the remaining three sides and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. I'm over at my last chain one corner. So we worked around all three sides. And when you get to the end of the round to your last corner, we're going to work a double crochet into that corner chain one space. You're going to chain one. And then work one more double crochet back into that same space. And then when you look at your work, you're going to have two stitches remaining and then you're beginning chain three. So what we're going to do to finish the round is we're going to double crochet into the top of the very next stitch. Then we're going to work a front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then we are over to our beginning chain three. So we're going to join with the slip stitch in the top of that beginning chain three. Start at the base and count up one, two, three. Insert into the top of that chain and slip stitch through the chain and through the loop on your hook. Round three is finished. Now we're ready to begin round four. To begin round four, we're going to chain one. Now the beginning chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to work a half double crochet back into the top of that joining stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook half double crochet into the top of the next stitch and we're going under the top two loops work your half double crochet half double crochet into the top of the next stitch and we're only working in the top of the stitch we're not working any front post stitches you're going to half double crochet into the top of the next stitch half double crochet into the top of the next stitch, half double crochet into the top of the next stitch, and continue and work one half double crochet into the top of each stitch across to your next corner chain one space and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner chain one space of round four of the border. We just worked one half double crochet in each stitch across until you reach the corner chain one space. So to work your corner, you're going to work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet back into that same corner chain one space. So now we're just going to spin our afghan around and we're going to start working down the length of our blanket. So we're just going to repeat what we've done across the top and we're going to work one half double crochet into the top of each stitch down the next side over to our corner chain one space. So let me get you started. Half double crochet into the top of the next stitch half double crochet into the top of the next stitch, half double crochet under the top two loops of the next stitch, and remember we're only working in the top of the stitch, half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch down the side of your afghan until you get to the corner chain one space. When you get to the corner chain one space, you're going to repeat a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet into the corner chain one space, 
and then repeat one half double crochet in each stitch around the next side. You're going to repeat that around the remaining three sides and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the last corner chain one space of round four. We just worked a half double crochet in each stitch around and then in the chain one spaces we're working a half double crochet chain one and then half double crochet back into that corner chain one space so then you're going to notice we have several stitches we have one two three stitches remaining we're going to work a half double crochet in the top of each remaining stitch that's one that's the second stitch and then half double crochet into that last stitch so now we're ready to join so we're going to join in a different manner for this round we're going to take our hook and we're going to come between the beginning chain one on that side of the stitch between the chain one and the first stitch from the back of your work to the front and then take your hook from the front to the back around the post of the stitch you're going to yarn over pull it back through and through the loop on your hook and this helps us start our first back post stitch of round five. Now with this pattern, it's not... Now with this pattern, I noticed that my border, due to doing these front post stitches, wants to fold forward, and I do not like that. So I'm going to change my design, and I'm going to add back post double crochet around the afghan and try to get this to pull itself back and lay flat because you want your border flat you don't want it to curl like this and i'm noticing it's doing that around all four sides it wants to pull in so a back post double crochet is not hard it's just coming from the back of your work to the front so we slip stitched through the back of this stitch so now we're ready to begin round five we're going to begin with the chain three one two and three now this beginning chain three will count as our first back post double crochet because we slip stitched around the back post of the stitch now we're going to work a back post double crochet around each half double crochet across. You're going to yarn over, take your hook from the back of your work to the front on the side of the stitch, and then take your hook from the front to the back on the other side of the stitch. So your hook is underneath the post of the stitch, and you just have your hook on the front and the post of the stitch sticks up on the back. You're going to yarn over, pull back through that stitch. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two loops. So let's do the back post double crochet a few more times together. You're going to yarn over, take your hook from the back of your work and bring it up through the side between the last stitch worked and this next stitch. Then take your hook from the front to the back and you have your hook underneath the post of the stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull back through that stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So I just zoomed up a little bit closer. Let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, take your hook from the back of your work out through the front between the last stitch worked and the next stitch. Then take your hook from the front to the back on the other side of the stitch. And then you're going to yarn over, pull back around the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Let's do it again. Yarn over the hook, bring your hook from the back of your work to the front between the last stitch worked and the next stitch. Take your hook from the front to the back or on the other side of the stitch, yarn over, pull around the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And you can see it's forming a ridge on your work. So I'll show you one more time. Again, we're working a back post double crochet around the post of each half double crochet across to the next corner chain one space. Yarn over the hook. Bring your hook from the back to the front of your work between the last stitch worked and the next stitch. 
take your hook from the front of the work on the other side of that same stitch, yarn over and pull around the post of the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's how you make a back post double crochet. So go ahead and continue and work a back post double crochet around the post of each half double crochet across to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first chain one corner of round five. So we're going to work a double crochet into that corner chain one space. Chain one and then double crochet back into that same corner chain one space. So again, you're working a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into your corner chain one space. So now we're just going to start and do exactly what we've done on this side. We're going to work a back post double crochet around each half double crochet stitch down the side of the afghan. And when you come to the corner chain one space, you're going to work a double crochet, chain one double crochet. So let me get you started going down the other side of your blanket. You're going to yarn over insert from back to front, front to back around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, pull around that stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Work a back post double crochet around the next half double crochet, back post double crochet around the next half double crochet. back post double crochet around the post of the next half double crochet and you're going to continue working a back post double crochet around the post of each half double crochet down to your next corner chain one space and then you're going to start the repeat all over by working a double crochet chain one double crochet into your corner chain one space and then a back post double crochet in each half double crochet across to your next corner chain one space. So go ahead and continue, work that around the remaining three sides and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at my last corner. This is round five of our border and I'm over at the last corner chain one space. We're going to end the round by working a double crochet into that corner chain one space chain one and then double crochet back into that same chain one space. And then I'm going to swing my work around and you'll notice that we have four stitches remaining. So we're going to work a back post double crochet around those last four stitches. That's one back post double crochet around the next stitch. back post double crochet around the next stitch and then we have one stitch to go back post double crochet around the next stitch and then when you look at your work you're back over to your beginning chain three so we're going to join in the top of that beginning chain three count up one two three insert your hook into the top of that chain yarn over pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook round five is finished so now we're ready to begin round six, which is our final round. So we're going to skip this joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the very next stitch. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. This beginning chain three counts as your first double crochet. We're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch, going under the top two loops, work your double crochet. Now we're going to make a pico stitch and chain three. You're going to bring your hook back to the front of your work and insert from top down through the front loop and then go right into the loop directly below on the side. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through three loops. You just made your pico stitch. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch. double crochet into the next stitch. 
Now we're going to work our pico stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. You're going to bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from top down through that top front loop, and then insert off to the side under that strand of yarn. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made. Let's do the repeat again. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then you're going to work your pico stitch. Chain three. Bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through that top front loop of the last stitch made, and then insert through the side of the stitch under that strand of yarn. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made. You can see how your pattern is forming. So let's do the repeat one more time. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make your pico stitch. Chain three. Bring your hook to your front of your work. Insert from top to bottom through the top front loop of that last stitch made. And then down through the side of the stitch under that strand of yarn. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work a double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then a pico stitch in the last stitch worked. Repeat that across to your next corner chain one space and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner chain one space of round six. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work two double crochet and a pico stitch two times in that corner chain one space. Yarn over the hook, insert into the corner chain one space, work two double crochets. One and two. Make your pico stitch, chain three. Bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the top front loop, and then right on the side of the stitch, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And then we're going to do that one more time in that same corner chain one space. Yarn over, insert into the corner chain one space, work two double crochets. One and two. Chain three. Bring your hook up to the front of your work, insert right from top to bottom through the top front loop of that last stitch made, out through the side of the stitch. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your corner is made. So you're going to spin your work around and then we're going to start our pattern all over again. You're going to work a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Then you're going to work your pico stitch, chain three, Bring your hook back to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the top front loop, and then off to the side of the stitch. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made. So let's do it one more time together. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Make your pico stitch of chain three. Bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through that front loop and right into the loop below on the side. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So go ahead and continue, work a double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then work your pico stitch. Repeat that down the side of your afghan until you get to your next corner chain one space and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my second corner chain one space of round six. And now to work the corner, we're going to do the same as we did in the last corner. 
we're going to work two double crochet into that corner chain one space one and two you're going to chain three and make your pico stitch bring your hook to the front of your work insert from top to bottom through that front loop and then into the loop directly below you have three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook you're going to work two double crochet back into that corner chain one space one and two and then make your pico stitch chain three Bring your hook around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through that front loop and right into the loop directly below. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So when you look at your work, your corner is made. You made two double crochet and a picot stitch two times in that corner chain one space. And now you're just going to repeat what we've done on this side around the remaining sides. So I'll go ahead and get you started. Again, you're going to double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One, and then double crochet into the next stitch, and that's two. Make your pico stitch of chain three. Bring your hook around, insert from top to bottom, and then into the loop directly below. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Let's do it one more time. Double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One. And two. Make your pico stitch of a chain three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work. Insert from top to bottom through that front loop and into the loop directly below. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and continue and work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then your pico stitch. You're going to repeat that down the side of your afghan until you get to your corner chain one space. And then you're going to work two double crochet and a pico stitch two times in your corner chain one space and then you're going to do it again. So go ahead and continue working around your blanket and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at my last chain one space of round six. I'm getting ready to finish the last corner of our border. So to finish the round, we're going to work two double crochet into the corner chain one space, one and two. You're going to chain three and make your pico stitch. Bring your hook around to the front of your work. Insert from top to bottom through the front loop and down through the loop directly below on the side. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Work two more double crochet back into that same corner chain one space. One and two. You're going to chain three, bring your hook around, insert from top to bottom through the top front loop of the last stitch made into the loop directly below. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your corner is made. I'm just gonna spin my work around and you should have a total of five stitches remaining. So we're going to continue with the pattern. You're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch, going under the top two loops, work a double crochet. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch, and then work your pico stitch, chain three. Bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the front loop, and then right into the loop below on the side of the stitch, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made. We now have three stitches remaining. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then work your pico stitch of a chain three, 
Bring your hook around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the top front loop into the loop directly below. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. We have one stitch remaining. You're going to double crochet into the top of that stitch. Now we're back over to our beginning chain three. So we're going to join right into the top chain, start at the base and count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top chain and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So round six of our border is finished. We are done with our afghan. I am done with my yarn. I'm just going to fasten off. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So now what you want to do is thread this through a yarn needle and then weave it down through one of these stitches and then go where you have a lot of yarn right here. Weave it across, in and out through these stitches and then skip a stitch, weave it back through. And if you have enough yarn, skip a stitch and even come back a third time to really secure your ends. I'm going to weave in my ends and I'll be back. So I weaved in my ends, but I just wanted to tell you that with this afghan, you may want to lightly steam block. Now it's on the right side now, but if you look at your work, if you look at the border, you're going to see it's raised up a little bit here, and that's due to the border we put on. So you can lightly steam press that, but you want to do it on the wrong side. So let me turn it over on the wrong side. So you're going to see here, you're going to have an edge sticking up. Now, if you don't have an ironing board, just lay a towel on a table and then lay the afghan single-sided on the wrong side. Place a damp cloth on top of this part that's sticking up and just lightly tap it. Now make sure you don't have your iron setting too high. This is a polyester acrylic yarn, so set your iron accordingly. And don't leave the iron on it too long. You just want to steam it to relax these stitches and let it lay a little bit flatter. It'll just help relax those stitches. And then it should lay flat. And then you can see your border. If you like that little puffy edge on the side, then you don't have to do anything to the border. You can leave it the way it is. I just prefer to block certain borders when I just want it to lay a little bit flatter. So I'm going to go ahead, block my border, and I'll be back, and I'll show you the finished afghan. So our afghan is finished. This is what it looks like. Here's our border. I blocked it. I steam pressed it so it laid flat. I'm going to roll my chair back. So I just want to hold it up so you can see the blanket. It's a very pretty color blue. So here it is. Now this afghan measures 42 by 55 inches. It's a beautiful blanket for summer because it's a little bit airy with that stitch pattern. It's a little lightweight, but still nice and cozy warm. I hope you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial. If you enjoyed making this blanket, please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye, everyone.